What's up, Brandon Northwick here. Today we're gonna to talk about the two different types of funnels that you can have implemented by the end of this video. Now there's some elements that you've gotta know about to make them the highest converting that you can, okay? So pay attention real quick, we're gonna make uh, we're going to go through the bullet points rather fast, but it's going to give you an idea as to what you can do right now, the process you can take so that you can start getting these leads and sales and automation and how to speak to each and you know individual piece of your market, each segment of your market. So first we want to have the lead generation campaign. Okay. This lead generation campaign is something used exactly for what it sounds like in the name, specifically for leads. The other campaign that we're going to be speaking about is the sales campaign. A lot of the times what we try and do is we try and hybrid them to where it's lead generation with sales attached to the back, which is great and it does work. But I'm going to share with you some statistics right now that are going to probably blow your mind if you've been doing that hybrid method and why it might be beneficial for you to create two separate funnels, one for the lead generation and one for the sales. So the first thing that we want to talk about is the type of people that we're going to be attracting with each of our giveaways. The giveaway on the front end of the sales funnel is going to be different than the giveaway on this, unless you're doing the hybrid. So imagine being able to share why somebody shopped in to you know, purchase your product or to actually just buy right there. You're going to have a sales pitch, right? You're going to have it right there in front of them. Well, liken that to you know you meeting somebody on the street, right? If somebody just comes at you real hard and says, hey, look, you know what, buy this right now. I've never seen you before, I've never met you before, but here, buy now. That doesn't really seem to sit too well with a lot of people, right? So how can we go ahead and bypass that while still making it a natural flow so that each individual lead can feel like they've gotten something of value before they ever have to dig into their wallet or invest or do anything like that? So the first thing we want to make sure that we know is the difference is the type of people that we're talking to. Cold traffic, people who have never seen or heard of you before. Warm traffic, people who have been exposed to you. This can be people who have visited your, your website, people who have opted into previous giveaways. It could be uh, previous clients, customers. It could be uh, friends, family. You know, it could be whoever knows something about your business, not just you, but your business. Okay, what do you have to offer? Have they ever been exposed to anything that you do? Those people will be more open to actually purchasing. Okay, then we have the difference in how you're going to attract these people into your funnel. We have live trainings and live calls. That's a great way. If you have somebody who's opted into, say, a you know, a checklist that you created six months ago and you want to go ahead and get them into a live training because you've been sending them content for the past six months since they've been on your list, boom, live trainings. That's going to be a great way to do it. Live calls, right? That's going to be a great way to do it. You're going to also have over off to the other side, you're going to have the, you know, giving away like blog content, right? You're going to turn that into a PDF, maybe. Maybe you're going to turn in um, some content to a video series. Maybe you're going to turn it into a... Uh, you know, a journey, a checklist, a guide, you know, whatever it is that you use to generate the lead, but you don't sell anything. Okay, you might have a simple, subtle call to actions, right? Where you might you know, check out here, check out here inside the PDF, which would be natural, but you're not actually saying, hey, look, buy for me now, buy for me now, buy for me now. There's no hard sell, there's no pitch, nothing like that. This is strictly just to get the lead. Now, we're gonna get down to the bottom of this and you're gonna see exactly why it's important for you to focus on the lead and make sure that in your sales flow you focus on the sale, okay? So again, the whole thing, warm traffic, cold traffic. You need yourself to somebody who's warm than somebody who's freaking cold. Then we wanna be able to have the dynamic follow-up. This dynamic follow-up is basically you segmenting your entire list based off of the actions that they take. So imagine you being able to send these people some information about something that your product can do. So as an example, if you're making, you know, um, if you're selling a tomato peeler and you wanna go ahead and send these guys a video about how to make garspacho soup, but you can't do that without this amazing tomato. You can't get this kind of quality of the soup unless you have this fantastic potato peeler, right? So if you were sending people videos about that tomato soup and you knew that they were involved or they enjoyed that because of what they had opted to before, the targeting that you have, right? Then you're gonna be able to segment that list of people and send them more of your sales pitch. So you can literally start out with your dynamic follow-up with giving them some piece of value that can help them get a result, right? And then you will tie that to your business and then once they click on that piece of value that you've just given, they basically just put their hand up. Once they put their hand up, you can now send them into your sales process, which now is gonna be a follow-up sequence with press special pricing, takeaways, and bonuses. When you have those three working all together, when somebody raises their hand from over here in your lead gen campaign, you can dynamically tag them and place them into another list where now you can sell to them. So it's a lot different than just coming out and selling, 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 selling to your cold traffic. 
it's not going to work, okay? So then we have, you want to pitch your product, okay? That's that's you tagging them and putting them over here. Do you see what I mean? You're going to be adding special pricing, takeaways, and bonuses. And you're going to retarget them. So this, again, is going to be a great way for you to catch up on the people who did not make the purchases here, as well as the ones who might not even be, you know, opening the emails anymore. This is going to be a way for you to get a hold of them on, you know, whether it be you doing YouTube, Facebook, Google. You could retarget them on a, on so many different platforms. When you do that, you're going to be looking like a genius because they're going to be like, oh wow, I can't get away from this guy. He's everywhere, right? And that's a good thing. That's what you want. You want to look like the authority inside your niche. You do not want to let any of these people who are getting distracted from, you know, kids, other things online, whatever it is that they're getting distracted from, if they're ready to become a lead. Most likely, they're going to become in a sale. It just depends on how much value and how much trust you can build in that time frame. So again, on this side, we're going to be sending them reminders. So here, we're going to be pitching the product, sending them over here. When they purchase, good stuff. When they don't purchase, let's send them reminders that are going to be able to let them know about the bonuses, how long they're going to last, take away how long they have to make their decision, and how long that special pricing is going to last as well. Then we're going to retarget those people, but instead of retargeting them for the same offer, right, just coming from a different angle, what we're going to do is we're going to actually retarget them with an upsell. So they've already purchased once. Okay, let's say that you had uh, you know 100 people purchase your $100 product. You ended up making some cheddar off that, and then you went and retargeted them. You put a retargeting campaign together and sent a new offer that was just a little bit more expensive to that same market. You would be able to sell more of those products than if you just sent it out to your list or sent it out to cold traffic. So again, those are the elements that you want to pay attention to when it comes to lead generation sales funnels, the difference between the two, how to set them all up, okay? And I'm gonna be sending out future videos or there might be a link around this one to link back to a video where I'm gonna be able to break down for you how do you create a proper lead packet, how do you create the sales process, the follow-up campaign, everything like that, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go ahead and um, like and comment or share this with a friend, okay? And let me know if you found any value from this and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.